Hi there, this is a Mitsubishi Outlander 2019 model. So today what I'm going to do is to replace this with the one uh, with the Bluetooth function, with the speech and uh, call take up and uh, call off function. Um, the stereo is capable, it's having the SWC steering wheel control functions inside. So only with that it is able to do this, but now we are talking about the other Bluetooth features also. You are able to buy the, the uh, Bluetooth version from, this one I bought from AliExpress. It, it's duplicate, but then you could see it is it's ditto the same there's no difference before i change this let me show you the the capability inside uh, the um, the system so that we can uh, set it up so here i go to uh, user interface so inside user interface you could see this uh, steering remote controller Okay, you see here, this, these are the functions which are available. Oh, uh, my screensaver actually is not showing that properly. So the first one here is basically the volume up, then volume down. You can see the next button, uh, fast forward and back backward. Then the below are more showing on the source. This one is the source button, which is this mode which is now put to this mode and then see the three buttons there the speech button the call pickup and call off so, so i just uh, want to change this to set to navigation so i'm using just selecting the navigation you have a lot of functions here you can even set to any of these you know radio whatever you want Okay, so now let's go into the uh, installation. Um, this, when I bought from AliExpress, uh, it came with a wiring. So this wiring is uh, also the same wiring as the, the one which is in original. But then this comes with wiring because it, it is together with uh, Cruise as well as this one. You know? So uh, that's why you can see two green ports here, even if they keep. So this is basically for those vehicles which does not even have these. That means just comes with this and doesn't have this wiring at all. So that is when you should be using here. If you already have something, then you don't have to, I mean, this type of, at least this basic feature, then you don't have to use the wiring which they came. So there's only one particular connection here. That is this one, the one I told you, the green pot which goes inside here. The rest, it's nothing. It's just one screw behind. The screw is uh, below. So later I will show you the, the screw, how to uh, take it out. Okay, um, I've seen many videos saying that um, uh, before you dismantle this or take it, take this portion out or anything to do with your steering, you have to be very careful of the airbag. It may explode. Um, I'm, I was a bit puzzled, so I have done more research on this to see whether it is true or not. And um, because the very first time when I removed, I just took a chance. I didn't even uh, unplug the, the battery. I just uh, directly removed it, you know, thinking that a back should not be exploded just like that, you know. I mean, then when you bang the car, when you bang the steering and all, it should explode, right? So, so basically, for this removal, you don't have to uh, disable, I mean, this is what I feel, you don't have to disable the battery if you think a bag is going to explode, unless you are touching any of these components you know any of this uh, area uh, behind this you know but now it's purely uh, this one so there shouldn't be anything uh, any any problem you can directly go into um, uh, changing this okay what well, what all tools you need um, in order to take this out basically you just need uh, two tools uh, one is just a cross uh, screwdriver 
and uh, this thing, you know, I mean, you should... Just uh, behind this controller, uh, underneath this uh, controller is the screw, which we need to take out. So, uh, let me show you. So, after we have put the steering in this position, it's easily visible. I think it is a bit dark. Okay, here you go. Hope you can see that. Yeah. The screw is inside this big hole. There are two holes basically, but the second one is the one. You know? So, uh, there's a bit less light here. I can. So it's after removing the screw already you can see there's a gap coming up. So basically you just need to pull this out. This uh, I'll show you the other one. There are this two which is actually holding. So it's like a clip, you know. You need to take it out. Uh, that is the only lock here, yeah. so that is the thing which is actually holding this too. And when you take it out, just be a bit, you will just watch out for this portion because there's a cut inside, so you need to pull this out and this is the wire. So they, basically that's it to remove this. So this portion, because it is going underneath the airbag, so that is the portion you need to just uh, pull it out towards you, towards down, I mean, uh, so that you can then bring it up. And it's a bit tight here on the wire, wiring side. So just uh, take a bit of care when you do that. Now, there is already a press, you need to press here to remove this, that's all. So, you see, this is, the adapter I was talking the the port I was talking about and this is the one which is going in. Okay. Now uh, this is the original one. I'm replacing with the one which I bought. So let's look at the fitting. Just plug and play. That's all. Just, I didn't do anything, just uh, push it up, that's all. So, put it back, slot it in, give a bit push on this side to slot the switch, uh, the wiring also inside. Okay. Press this back. That's it, you are done. Now, fix back the screw. Okay, let's see uh, whether it is already you mine it might have already stored because i told you that i have fitted this earlier so i am just redoing it just to show you so i think it it is already there you know? and if you want to uh, change you just um, just go to the learning uh, 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 learning initialization uh, learning initialization then uh, you can actually set one by one by pressing here and this one you know so uh, that is how it learns uh, what what to be set to which control and what to map it's basically doing a mapping so here mine is uh, already the changes I have done and um, let me test so this one is a source I need to go back from here. Okay, so source it keeps on changing. That's uh, okay. Maybe from here to be better. Okay, I just want to put maybe I'll switch on the C a CD player. First. This 
no CD. Ah, yeah, it's coming up. So, let me put the volume up. Yes. Volume down. Volume up, volume down. Skip. Next one. Yes. Back. Yes, it's functioning. I'm using the fast forward. Yes. Okay, now it's the time to do the call functioning, the speech function. Let's see whether it will bring up. I don't know whether my camera will be switched off because it activates my... So it's working fine uh, uh, since I'm using my phone to record. That's why it's um, going off when I switch, off, uh, switch on this. But then it is activating the speech control. So you can see here also it when I click the speech control it's saying you know please speak into the microphone then um, also the the phone pick up and uh, uh, stop this also is working fine just now I tested okay so you also can try um, this is a good feature you know I mean uh, usually uh, this feature is good so that you don't have to take your eyes away from uh, from the friend uh, once you buy hard this three switch then it is very comfortable to pick up the phone as well as to navigate dial uh, whatever number it is you know so it's basically uh, giving the instruction to the phone uh, the speech uh, button is mapped to the speech control here in the uh, steering uh, settings going to that steering remote control you could see that it is mapped to the speech control so I just uh, want to change this to set to navigation so I'm using just selecting the navigation you have a lot of functions here you can even set to any of these you know radio whatever you want so since we will be quite often using this navigation then change completer so that's all it this will bring to navigation yeah so that's all for today uh, thank you very much and uh, hope I'll be able to come up with uh, another video just to show with the camera option I but I need to first install the camera and to see I'm actually trying to install the 360 degree view uh, camera so uh, I'm, I'm thinking that once I install that, if I if if I'm using up that uh, camera function, I need to see whether it is activating uh, one more one more feature inside this steering wheel control, so that I can uh, uh, trigger that and uh, map it to the one with the camera side. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Um, uh, anything um, for me to improve on uh, what I have seen or any shortcut method, you know share with me put it in the comment uh, area so that i also can learn i mean i'm not a specialist on this i'm by profession i'm in it but uh, i just do this as a hobby so thought of sharing with you all also so thank you very much and uh, have a good day